like Bubba's um, Z9 from top from uh, Mad Max 1. Mad Max, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's see. Remember yeah. Bubba? Yeah. Have you seen the movie? Yeah, I've seen the with the, yeah. Yeah. With the uh, it's a movie. Right? I saw it and I'm like, holy shit, I'm Mad Max. Sure, yeah, I yeah. know. What's that? It's just filming you. Oh. The screen while we're looking at it. That's, all, that's the, the best movie ever. Yeah. They're sold as 72s, that means it's probably a real early production bike. Right. And so there was, I think there was about 20 or 19,999 made as 72, 73s. And then there was another 25 or 30,000 made as 74s. And then 75, 1975 uh, versions, there was, uh, I believe, about 20 or 25,000 of those made as well. All all in total, I think the run was 85,700. This particular bike... It's got the, uh, the Z9. Yeah. It's frame number 2646, so it's within the first 3,000 off the line. Okay. And apparently, the, from a uh, desirability perspective, the, the, the older the models, the better. Yeah. So this is a relatively, but it's an old, old model, uh, one of the first was produced in 72, sold as a 73. Some of the things that differ from on this bike compared to other versions, this emblem here, there's a certain length and a certain width. Oh, is it? And after, I believe after uh, 5,000 units or so, this emblem on the same year bike was bigger. You'll ne notice a difference between the size oh, no. of this emblem here and the size on the 75 over there. You can see, even visibly see it from the tank in the corner. Yeah, that, that's a much larger. Yeah, that's, that's much bigger, isn't it? So an early, early model 73 will have a tank that has, has a, a smaller uh, emblem on it. Yeah. Some of the other things, the, the date stamping on the tires, 
and then some of the way that, that the Japanese uh, stamped the uh, the codes for when the parts were made, yeah. some of them were on a Gregorian calendar, <laughs> and some of the parts yeah, were stamped against the uh, emperors of Japan. So, oh, wow. so this uh, the stamps on the rim. Yeah, the stamp on the rim. I believe. Where is it? Right here. The stamp on the rim here. Yeah. That number here, I believe, is is rated to uh, uh, the the uh, uh, Japanese emperor system. Oh wow! And other parts on the bike, like the swing arm. I don't know why this bike doesn't have a, somewhere in this area here. There's usually a date stamp that's on the Gregorian calendar. Oh yeah. Uh, One of the things I noticed on the 75 that I rebuilt, this is called the, uh, that's the oil. A transmission uh, air breather cap. Yeah. Is that no on the other one? It's on the other one as well. What is that? And when I when I rebuilt the other unit, I opened it up and the and the parts are either date dated or or there's a forging. Oh yeah, it's got the ah, that's made cool. in Japan. <laughs> I, that's how they do Chinglish, isn't it? Yeah. So this one's M A D E. The other Z ones that I've had are M A D E. M A E D. That one over there is M A E D for some reason. Wow. Yeah, they do that a lot on the instructions. Yeah. That's yeah, really nice. Thousands. Yeah. And uh, it was really uh, it was old and tired as well. And I just I restored it during the COVID year. So this is this is this is a Z900, isn't it? That's a 1975. Yeah, that's a late 72 or yeah. 73, and this is a 75. Yeah, that's nice. Some I've noticed some of the bikes in, on the show they've got the red rear indicator lights on, mm -hmm. which we never had in England. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, you've got the reflectors on the back too, you've yeah. got the original back shot. Yeah. So you spent all COVID doing this one up then? Sorry? You spent, you spent the lockdown working on this one, yeah? Yes, I did, yeah. It's nice. I took it right off, right down to its bare bolts and bare parts and re uh, sandblasted. So, so where do you get the exhaust? That's obviously not original, is it? Uh, there you can see a little bit of the date stamp. So oh, yeah, that was made in uh, in May of, of 1975. 75. Yeah. So so this one, the frame number is 84011, and it's one of the uh, last 1600 bikes off of the line before they stopped making really it. Nice. Where, where do you get the pipes from? So this is a, a, a replica original exhaust. Yeah. The original exhaust would have a date stamp in here. Yeah. And, and you'd have Japan written on it, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's right. And, and so this exhaust system, I believe, was 1500 bucks. But an original, like this. If you can find one. Yeah, it would be, but I think between three and $5,000. Yeah. That's a nice pipe, nice set of pipes, so. Hey, thanks for talking to me. It's really nice. Come to these bike shows and it'll be just with your own bike. Yeah. <laughs> There's no uh, traction control, no traction control, no anti-slide anti, anti brakes, nothing is it, it's, uh, it's just riding.